All right, so I just took a couple of videos with the Vision Pro and I'm about to show you how I will edit them using the Vision Pro and the MacBook Pro. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and open up photos. I'm gonna go to my library. Do not tell anybody what you see. All right, so here's the first video. I'm gonna select this one in the second video and then I'm gonna hit share. And then I'm going to go to AirDrop and I'm going to select Greybook Pro. I'll go ahead and move the windows over here so I can just have that there and I can watch it and make sure it goes through. And I'm looking on my computer, I can see it's coming through. Once it gets on my computer, I will get it all, you know, staged and ready to import into Funnel Cut so I can chop it up and then upload to YouTube. So let's document that a little bit. All right, go ahead and copy this and I'll go into my template and I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to call this project Vision Pro Demo because I'm showing, you know, some stuff. Let's move it to the doing folder. Ugh. Sometimes clicking and dragging is a little weird. This is not anything to do with the Vision Pro. That's just me being a noob. This is considered A roll because I don't have any B roll. And go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, I still have my virtual space up. Um, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to change my storage location. Done. And then I'm going to change my cache location. Done. And then I'm going to import my media done and then I'm going to open up a project and then I'm going to drop it into the timeline okay let's go ahead and full let's go ahead and wait a second and let this render I'm gonna stand up, walk away from my desk and show you guys what it looks like when you just look back at this area. Like, it's kind of cool that there's nothing really there. It's just, it looks like my, computer, my desk is off. Like, let me take a picture for you guys. Let me throw it up. Now, can you see what it looks like through, it's like a, <laughs> This is crazy. Like, it looks like my computer's off. And what's wild is I could probably take all of this and just move to another room with a wireless keyboard and mouse, which I will show in another video, but <laughs> that's funny. All right, it's done. Let's go. I got to figure out a better way to do this template. If anybody knows of a better way, let me know. I'm always trying to improve. So editing on here feels very natural. I mean, honestly, I don't even know why I'm not moving it closer, but when I'm really deep in the edit, like making cuts like this, I like to make it really big. And then I go into immersion mode. The problem with immersion mode is that I can't see my shortcuts and I can't really get a good feel on the keyboard. So I wish there was like some quick action buttons. I wish these, all of this, I wish Vision Pro could show them somewhere like down here or down here or up here. And that way I can just look. 
I could look up and then pinch my fingers on the tool I want and just click. So I could be like, click, boom, click, boom, click, boom. It'll be so nice. Oh, please, please, please. There's a way to add an app or some type of shortcut that can do that. Just simulate a button press. Oh, please give it to me. So on the iPhone, you can take panoramic photos, but up until now, the audio from the Vision Pro is pretty good. That's straight from the microphone on the Vision Pro. All right, that's the end of the video right there. Very simple cuts, I'm not doing anything crazy for these videos. Okay, we're gonna export it. All right, it's exporting. Let's go ahead and start editing the second video. Let's go ahead and duplicate, duplicate project. We're gonna call this one uh, mirror. One way to do it, where you do that way. The other way to do it is to MacBook Pro and my Vision Pro with. So the thing I let me start over. Uh, So the first, uh, <laughs> one of the primary reasons I got All right, it's done exporting. And one thing I love about using the, and one thing I love about using the Apple Vision Pro with my Mac is now I can use Stage Manager which allows me to pair apps together. And I love that. So I'm just going to upload this video.
Now I'm looking around and I can have all my windows open and I'm still using this MacBook. It still feels like I'm using this MacBook and I'm able to see my keyboard for my shortcuts and everything. I, I love this, but I don't use it like this most of the time. I'm a very singular focused person. So I usually only have one thing up at a time. And then what I do is I will go into immersion mode. But the problem is this. So while this is awesome, I can't really see my keyboard. I wish there was a way to kind of, I don't know, bring the keyboard into the immersion space. So it looks like I'm at 